Thank you for your contribution to our meeting. Thank you for yeah, inviting yeah. me. So I wanted to introduce the, my team. At first, uh, the right side is uh, my cl dear colleague is uh, Dr. Bach from the the John Saint, very, very hospital, and uh, my right side is uh, Dr. Yun Hyukjun from the Kemyang National University, Kemyang University, Kemyang University yeah, yeah. Hospital. So yeah. Today we prepared a uh, simple <laughs> RCA. You can see the distal RCA total occlusion and the uh, contralateral injection is. Uh, you can see some micro channel. In initial angiography, you cannot notice the, the micro channel. So, you can, could you see the angiography? Yes, we can yeah. see it. Yeah, this mm -hmm. patient is a 65 year old male, and uh, he already uh, assigned to our randomized trial, this year, CTO. And the patient is uh, assigned to medical treatment is maybe one year ago. However, during medication, the patient uh, complained of some symptom and during exercise. So we decided to plan to open the CTO segment. Today we prepare this case. You can see just some narrowing proximal RCA. And total occlusion is, uh, you can see the some distal portion and then good collateral from the LAD. Next. Next. Uh, and uh, in this view, we can clearly see the micro channel. You can see? Can see. Yeah, I'm lucky, very lucky. And next, no. and uh, if we fail the uh, anterior approach, we try to do the approach. However, in proximal portion, have some narrowing in around the proximal LAD and uh, some calcification. So, the the approach have a chance to uh, donor artery ischemia. So, initial plan is just to negotiate the micro channel. Next, next. Okay. Run, run, okay. This is the on the back of the fine cross. We try to the negotiation of the micro channel. Is there any question or comment? Um, let me ask panel members. Uh, would anybody just go retrograde in this case, or would everybody else? Would everybody go anagrade? Any, any. Uh, in this case, of course, I will start with anti-grad approach. Uh, this uh, small island is detected mid portion of CTO, so uh, anti-grad approach is more, I think, more pro promising. However, uh, current uh, this uh, floral image, kind uh, of chief position is, uh, I guess, probably out of uh, out of true lumen. I think there's a lot of disease in that. If we went an, uh, retrograde, there's a lot of disease in that left anterior descending. So I think one advantage of going uh, anagrade is to get, stay out of that vessel. In salium spec, we show the uh, LAD is uh, functionally normal, and uh, so maybe uh, I don't want to touch the LAD. However, if we do the retrograde approach, uh, sometimes you need to fix up the proximal LAD. So I don't want to touch the LAD, so I try to do integrate approach first, and then uh, if failed, I try to retrograde approach. Yeah. Mm. Right now, which, which kind of guard wire are you in? This is the field FC for guidance of the uh, mm -hmm. fine cross. Okay. And then fine cross is reached the just the ostium of the micro channel. Yeah, you can see. But I think uh, for micro channel uh, negotiation, uh, field FC is uh, mm, wire diameter is 0 0.014. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, too large to negotiate. Uh, yeah, to, yeah, uh, yeah. Negotiate you are right. Channel. Micro channel is usually size is around 200, so so big. The uh, field FC is to negotiate. So I wanted to put the my fine cross in the ostium of the micro channel and we changed the field XD taper to tip wire and uh, we advanced a little bit and then you can see the calcification in distal portion 
So maybe I think this is maybe right way. Next. And reach the a little bit. So collateral channel. Show the maybe why is located in distal true lumen. And then, however, we feel, I feel the some resistance. Next. And a little bit advanced. Maybe wire is located in distal true lumen. Okay, next. Okay. Next. Okay, why is going to I believe I want I hope the wire is <laughs> into the distal true lumen. Uh, I'm very lucky because the micro channel is usually uh, visible in the 30 percent in CTO segment. Usually the pathology finding is nearly 80 percent. So in this case, it's a very big micro channel developed after initial angiography. So I'm very lucky to see the big micro channel. So uh, now next. I removed the fine cross, fine cross cannot cross the region. So by anchoring technique, I removed the fine cross. And then so far, we now we the wire is reached the part distal area. So I wanted to put the smallest balloon me <coughs> to cross the region. If failed, I wanted to use the uh, cosail. Now you have two, uh, it looks like you have two eight French guides, am I correct? No, seven. And they're both seven? Yeah, yeah. I hate the eight French. <laughs> well, you've got good support with that Amplatz guide. I yeah, guess. yeah. Because of the optic cross, is, uh, IBUS is uh, five French is compatible, so we can use IBUS in seven French. So I try to first. Uh, Smallest balloon, what is it? 1.2 milli, I believe. This is a white brand, balloon cassette, or do you select? Size and company? 1.2 Boston. Memory. Boston, okay. Okay, this is 1.2. I hope cross the region. Oh, what you know, there? Can not negotiate. Okay, balloon go. I wanted to make the small crack in entry point with the balloon dilatation. Yeah, six. Okay, six ten. ten. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. And then a little bit pushing the balloon. Okay, go. Ten. Ten. Okay. Deflate. Eight. Okay. Ah, very hard plug. Yeah. Ah, uh, we cannot negotiate with the, the smallest balloon. Well, sometimes, yeah, sometimes you can't see it in plate in those small balloons. Ah, uh, okay. Ten. Yeah. What advanced is it? Yeah, a little bit of advanced. Yes. However, no mark of advanced. Twelve, fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to guide, putting guiding. And during deflation, I want to push the balloon slowly. Deflate. Yeah. Make the the bands mm. wow mm. go ten can you twelve fourteen just a moment and then there we, we go make the guiding more favorable shape and pushing the wire deflate and I pushing the balloon a little bit during depletion Wow. Ten. Yeah. Oh. Ten. <coughs> so I've been informed Dr. Chai is ready re for his okay. case. Uh, we can break to him whenever you want to. You, you want to break now and yeah, uh, yeah, break go down with another balloon? Yeah, yeah. And we'll come back? Yeah, okay. Very good. Yeah. Please. Okay, let's go to the other room. There we go. 
We can see you. Can you see us? Probably not. I can. Can you talk to us? So without your eyes. Oh yeah. Everybody's concentrating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can hear you very go. well. So could you kindly uh, this this gentleman this eighty. Uh, no, uh, 58 years old male mm -hmm. admitted uh, for PCI at LADCTO. He developed uh, acute MI three months ago, mm. but uh, primary PCI was unsuccessful. Huh. And he was uh, referred to this center. Okay? okay. And uh, maybe you know. see yeah. the uh, diagnostic angiogram uh, of the of this patient uh, during case discussion. So no need to show the previous angio. So uh, this patient had the uh, osteolytic occlusion, and uh, today my plan is to clarify whether he has a septal connection or separated the conus branch connection. And as you can see, uh, I put eight French Jadkins left four side hole and uh, six French mammary catheter. And uh, I was very disappointed to see this shot. <laughs> uh, no collateral. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. And uh, next. I put floppy wire into RCA and uh, using that wire as a support, I disengaged the mammary catheter. Mm -hmm. And again, no collateral. Yeah. So very disappointed once again. Uh -huh. Oh boy. No channel. Yeah. Yeah, uh, when I injected from left side, I understand. So this patient was a QTMI patient. So the uh, proximal uh, LAD uh, occlusion uh, recanalized. Spontaneously. Uh, but life is not so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Never is. And uh, as you can see, he has very complicated uh, mid LAD bifurcation. So today is CTO live, but actually now it's a bifurcation live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Proximal region and also meeting. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And uh, I put the floppy wire into Ramius, and uh, this is Crusade. And the Xion wire, of course, uh, easily passed the proximal region, 75 or 90 percent region. But this is very eccentric and fragile, so gentle manipulation was mandatory. But uh, as you can see, some, something was there, and I noticed very difficult bifurcation. Of course, yeah. if uh, iatrogenically occlude this portion, I can use a retrograde approach from uh, distal PDA. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. So I advanced the Xion wire and brought uh, Crusade again, and now try to enter the LAD. Okay, I see. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, very difficult. Yeah, it's a, more like a trifurcation lesion there. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know where we are now. So, which kind of guide wire? This is just Sion Blue. Just with, with very strong first band and some secondary band to negotiate with this portion. It's very difficult. You wonder if this was the area of the occlusion with the myocardial infarction or it was as an oste was it an osteal or was it the mid portion that was occluded? Mm. Don't remember. Maybe we need a stronger band, a stronger second band over this uh, Sion blue. 
And uh, we shouldn't use uh, very st stiff any stiff wire yeah, to keep this pay portion patent. I think with Xiong Blue we can tr make try and error, but uh, with stiff wire we cannot. I need very strong there. So I sh shape like this. Could you show me the angle? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think it's very important to use Kursei to stabilize the wire. And uh, this kind of uh, aneurysma region is a really, very difficult to cross. Hmm? Uh, it, uh, no, 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 because we don't <laughs> do, do retrograde, so two o'clock is fine. Getting CTO. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe more difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the This region is responsible for acute MI, huh? Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. so I uh, do Dr. Ochiai? Yeah. Uh, I'm Yasumi Igarashi. Yeah. Uh, in this situation, uh, I prefer to use uh, Shion white, white wire because Shion is, uh, tip is uh, hydro-coated, so yes, more yes, slippery. Yes. Now, Shion is in diagonal, so I want to use a different wire for Ah, okay. But the other device may be correct. But uh, Xion Blue is safer. Uh, very difficult to catch. Very difficult to catch the entry point. So I, uh, I follow the advice of Dr. Igarashi. Shion, are you please? Okay. Oh, so much more difficult. Getting very difficult. Yeah. Mm. Another very avant-garde option is to do cutting balangioplasty to diagonal to change the... That strategy is sometimes very effective, however, uh, uh, gambling. gambling. Uh, sometimes we lost the uh, LAD main vessel flow. Can I have XTR? XTR. 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 But if this uh, LED disappears, we can try retrograde from uh, RPDA. Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're going to stick with the less stiff wire, some more. Yeah, yeah, stiff wire make no sense. Make no sense. Yeah, yeah I agree. patient is very stable. So 
she should have lots of collateral. Calcium is misleading, or you're a little distal, but yeah, it's hard to another, say. Another bifurcation is here. Yeah. Mm. Mm, so. Your size says everything, Masa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I take shot. Yeah. Oh, no, you're much yeah, better off than we thought. You're doing fine. Mm. Hope so. How about another projection? Yeah. Mm. Great suggestion. Those of you that don't do a lot of CTOs, don't do a lot of complicated uh, bifurcation leads, notice how slowly he's going and carefully he's going. Okay. Hydrophilic wires, so you can you can sometimes double over and just continue to pass. But I that's think uh, basically yeah. dissection is good. Uh, direction is good. Yeah. So it looks like you're in a good position. Yep. That's a big second diagonal there. Boy, this is LAO5, cranial 30, the same angle. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 too early, too early. <laughs> it may be, it may be in the septal. Too early. Yeah, of course, this is septal, I know. Yeah, yeah, You're making some progress. This is septal, but uh, after septal, we f I don't remember the anatomy. Where is the septal? <laughs> so, septal is, uh, oh, it's a good sign, good sign. Yeah, yeah. So, the best choice, I don't want to pull back this wire. Okay. Yeah. Best choice is, uh, I think, to pull out this crusade yeah, and uh, maybe dilate with one, two, five balloon and bring this crusade down again into the septal and the tritheon. Okay? Two, five balloon? And I need one more in deflator. One more in deflator. Because uh, I don't want to, I, I need a chopping balloon to put a dilatation balloon. And they give me one thermal balloon. How do you think, or oh, we can just try crusade faster. If we can deliver crusade without uh, uh, 
balloon dilatation, it's better. Hmm. Dr. Chai, Aye. Uh, in current situation, I'm afraid probably uh, you the chip uh, cannot deliver to the uh, mm. depth of run yeah. because of uh, strong angulation. Yeah, so you recommend to dilate, huh? Yes, yeah. Well, anyway, you don't pull it back this XDR, huh? mm. Okay, deflate, please. Okay, take picture. There's some uh, bubble in the catheter. One point two five. Mm -hmm. mm, I dilate the region with one point two five balloon. Oh, ten, ten. This which one is which one? This is XDR, maybe. In Korea, Xion is hundred eighty five. Inflate six. Six. Inflate six. In Korea, 185, uh, the length of Sion. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, still not. Deflate trapping okay. balloon. Oh, very resistant. Mm. Oh. Very, very resistant. Mm. Oh. Balloon can cross. Balloon can cross. I try Corsair. Give me 135 Corsair. Okay. Yeah. Trapping on. Trapping, trapping, trapping. Yeah. Six. Six. Eight. Okay. 135 Corsair. May I ask you which company is Balloon? No, no. Uh, this is Thermo, but uh, the resistance is, is very strong. And uh, in much the city, we can find very heavy classification here. So for, I think this angulation is not favorable for, uh, for uh, tornas too. I think a flexible tip of Corsair will be the most useful. Anyway, to make a very small hole through this portion. Okay, deflate. Do you expect a uh, dot effect of uh, Yes, Corsair yes, yes. Dot yeah. effect of the Corsair. And uh, when Corsair pass, I change the wire to Xion Blue, which gives us a stronger support. Very nice idea. Life is difficult. Because mm. it just jumped across. Eh? Mm. No. No. So, I should the gamble, because uh, Corsair cannot pass, and I don't want to lose everything. Hey. 
you not willing to bring that wire back and see if you can get down the distal LED? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I tried that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay. vent into uh, different. Uh, you got a better angle there. Vet angle, vet angle, yes. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I see the check the angle. This, oh no, one more guy. So this is, oh, this is already in my LED, huh? I think so. Mm. And if this uh, Corsair cannot pass, I should do rotor. Even if it's in that other Cessna, you're in better position. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. 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 Good job. And uh, congratulations. Yeah. This is uh, more difficult than simple retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope Corsair can pass. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yes. Support is complete. Uh, support is better, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, Shion Blue. Oh, your is fine. Your spine is fine. But, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I try IVAS, and if IVAS cannot pass, we should do rotor. Mm. Ah, but this is a volcano, so volcano should not pass. <sighs> okay, anyway, I try one to five button first. Masa, we were going to go to another yes, room, yes. Uh, and, and is that okay? And we'll come back to you. Yes, yes, sir. No, absolutely. Thank okay, you. Okay, good. We're going to. Yeah. Good. Uh, to Dr. Muramatsu. There we go. We can see you. Okay. From the beginning. I know you are on the screen. We can see you well. Can you hear me? Can you hear? Huh? Go ahead and tell uh, us about the, the case. Our case has started. Started? Uh, we are. We, we can introduce. I can. I can yes. hear. You cannot hear? Yeah. You uh, can't hear? Uh, your brother uh, said. Uh, such a uh, uh, <coughs> Second open doctor, I can hear you. The I can. Very small, small sound. Small sound. Uh, the volume, yeah. volume is low. Sorry, very small. Tackle. We're seeing the case summary. Oh, okay, okay. I can hear. Perfect. Okay. So, please, okay. the case summary. Yeah. Case uh, summary, uh, I'm Dr. Rad. Uh, this must be already reviewed in the review process. 67 years old male, uh, a typical, uh, uh, since one years old, typical stable engine now, and uh, LV function, uh, I heard, is normal, and uh, our target region is LED T1 bifurcation. Very heavily classified mid LED, just distal to diagonal and septal brain. So, Dr. Brahmas, uh, we can start. The okay, so I will show you the today's angi angiography. I used the A French uh, XP 3.5 for the left, 7 French A1 yeah. for the right. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a bilateral injection. And uh, just uh, LED was uh, totally occluded behind the diagonal branch. Yeah. However, a very tiny collateral channel came from the right coronary. Next. I will check the right coronary inject. Next. But uh, we didn't see any proper channel from the right coronary. Next. Mm -hmm. I just only see the epicardial channel from the diagonal branch yeah. to the yeah. distal LED. Mm. So now I started anyhow the anti-grade approach. Next. Using the Corsair and the field XD. So now just on beginning. This is into the septal channel. Next. It is a quite difficult to 
uh, channel selection using the field XD. So I step up to the Gaia second. Gaia second. Gaia second. Gaia second. Gaia second. <coughs> Spider view, you know, it's not. This is a spider view. So you can see the Cadex City. Yes, we can yes. see. Yeah. So you you see the heavy calcium. This patient is at more than 20 years hemodialysis. <coughs> so the cardiac CT shows us the entry point has uh, occupied by heavy calcium. This is a guy a second. Because the right coronary uh, contract injection is not helpful for our situation, so we disengage it and a little bit pulled out the, rep, the right guiding catheter. And Dr. Murama appears to be feeling some roughness between septal and diagonal right? Mm -hmm. So yes. now we are attacking anteriorly by the dia second, the between septal and diagonal, and rectally. I guess one question would be, would it be of any benefit if this doesn't cross to put a, uh, an IVIS in that diagonal and see if you see an entry point? Yes, one with option. But, uh, but uh, current situation, I think uh, probably IVIS delivery is uh, not so easy uh, to use the diagonal branch. And uh, in this patient, uh, heavy calcium is detected. However, a proximal part and uh, distal part of uh, uh, calcium is uh, uh, outside calcium. So maybe uh, very small mid uh, calcium is uh, the most difficult point to pass through the this city region. So uh, um, current, current guideway chip position is very, very important. Uh, for uh, this procedure success, I think. Maybe here is a entry point. However, the wire t stiffness is uh, not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. I'd like to ask the comment that uh, we get wire. Need more stiffness. So, okay, that guy is
The problem is that we cannot see the exact entry point by this uh, scene. Yeah, exactly. So only we can see the mm. house scene. Mm. Quite hard. Mm. Can I change the guy's third? Mm. Mm. So the angration from the uh, main vessel to the, uh, the diagonal branch to the uh, lady entrance distance is difficult to judge yeah. by this. Mm. So how about the aerial cranial? This is AP cranial. Are you crying now? My suggestion is to use a cruised passator. Guide wire <coughs> close to the diagonal, and you can use a cruised to get uh, a the, good tap. The earphone is not so good. I can hear. I cannot mm. hear clearly oh, your voice. Volume up. Some, sometimes oh. so I can hear. Sometimes I cannot <laughs> hear. <laughs> So, are you, are you cranial view was not so good to delineate? Just ah, some I, I mm. checked the area of cranial view. I, sh I will show you the area of cranial view. Yeah, are you starting? I think we already showed it before. This is a area of cranial view. Okay. Yeah, it's a difficult yes, to do. Yes. This is our cranial view. Yeah, so in this view, we cannot see the entrance. So the, maybe the aerial cranial is a much better one. So the problem is we cannot judge the uh, exact entry point yeah, by this scene. Mm -hmm. So only the operator can feel the simple dimple, mm -hmm. tiny dimple. Oh, sorry, sorry. How about the LEO cranial? This is our LEO cranial. Test. Mm -hmm. Test. Yeah. Test. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. I, I wonder if the spider view may be the best, and it's only going to be following yes, yes. the calcium. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I agree. A spider view is uh, yeah. uh, sometimes uh, we, uh, we can get another more better information. And you literally mm -hmm. are just following where the calcium goes. Dr. Muramatsu, uh, this is Bob speaking yes. from Kenwood National uh, You need more cover. You need more cover, guys. Can you tell, I will, I will, I will let him know. I can, I can hear you. Uh, uh, no, no, no sound. No sound. Yeah. It is a better to change. Yeah, I think the, the cover looks not so bad uh, to <laughs> overcome <laughs> the <angle. laughs> uh, He feels some <laughs> audience says that the yes. cover is not so uh, acute to attack. But uh, the more accurate angle may be, it's difficult to uh, transmit the force to the directly yeah. to the CTO segment. But this angle is not so bad. The, the more angle may be difficult right. to negotiate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we may need uh, more maybe strong, maybe confidence that if we fail this, a yes. more stronger pinpoint attack for the accurate target point. Mm -hmm. The spider also a little bit disturbing the between two. We checked before, but not so easy in the spider. Can I hear you? No, no sound. So when you look at this spider, it's going to be off to the right of that diagonal line. Mm -hmm. This is nothing is clear here. It looks like a little uh, <coughs> down below the position of the diagonal branch. The septal uh, has a little bit uh, distant to the proximal side. The accurate point uh, between diagonal and LED. It's not clear on the spider view. 
maybe it only depends on the tactile sense of the Dr. Murama's some roughness between septal and the diagonal is uh, empirically attacking. Now, all the options we can do dive by this. Can we switch? We're going to switch to Dr. Lee and let you guys work because I know ah, you're going okay. to Okay, I can hear you. I can hear you. You can hear me now? Yeah. We're gonna, can, can we switch to Dr. Lee for a second? He's just about done. and Because I know by the time we come back, you'll have crossed it. There's Dr. Lee. Yes, sir. We can see you. Okay. We already uh, pre-dilated 2.5 balloon. This is F2.5 balloon. Okay, it is. Okay. We do I was F2 balloon under, pla uh, balloon under plus T. So could you... Return the pre-intervention angiography. Uh, uh, no, no, no. You can see the diffuse disease from the distal bifurcation. It is diffusely disease. Yeah, I don't want to metal jacket. <laughs> so we, at this time, we need some negotiation. <laughs> so we initial target is the, from the mid RCA to bifurcation just proximal. Yeah. So I was finding is uh, maybe. Uh, to this is a far distal PL branch, large black button you can see. <laughs> yeah, always we sometimes we, we can this we can count the, this kind of situation. So this is a pro from the just a proximal bifurcation, and then a little bit increased lumen. And all segment is all disease. <laughs> yeah, it really is. This is the this is the manufacturer's dream. No yeah. More stents you're gonna have to put in there. So, <laughs> so I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. From angiography, we can find some blanches, CD blanches, uh, 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 proximal. Uh, 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 uh. So angiography, I wanted to put the stain as you you, you, you recommended. The yeah, yeah. CD. So. We do the put the stand just proximal the bifurcation. Two point uh, three point zero thirty eight and up to sixteen. Vessel size is very big around the forty because of RCA is usually remodeling index is low. And then we j uh, measure the proximal segment. Thirty eight is also required. So put the another stand from from premier. And then post the lactation with the stem balloon. This is a uh, final. Hmm. However, <sighs> <laughs> anyways, we do I was post stenting. If we put the metal jacket, I think listing is rate around 20 or 30 percent. Based on our data, le less than 30, 60 distance rate around the four, five percent. However, proximal distal plug button may affect the stand patency. So we need a, this time uh, make a decision that this part distal, but just proximal to bifurcation, large plug button. However, I don't want to touch it because of the bifurcation also is a little bit stenosis. Distal runoff is the made by PLPD branch. So if we touch the distal RCA, we need the uh, tissue balloon dilatation. And then at the time, maybe have some damage to proximal. So <laughs> we need the more, one more two stain is required. So I wanted to stop procedure here. How about the, your opinion? Stain is expensive, very good. So is it the question about what to do with the distal lesion or the proximal vessel? What was the question? Yeah, I, I need the panel to comment. Put the all segment, all stand, just leave alone. With the distal lesion? Distal or, or, or proximal. proximal? Okay, well proximally I probably would not leave it. I think there's a lot more disease up than proximal vessel. Yes, you're going to end up having stenting almost the entire vessel, but I think if you leave it like there, Particularly at the tip of the guide, I think there's a dissection. Let me hear from another panel member what to do distally. 
Um, I don't want to make that decision because it looks like whatever decision is going to be is going to be difficult. What do you think, team? Kissing balloons, a stent in the main vessel, because both seem yeah. to be the same size. Stent yeah. the main vessel? Yeah, I think the proximal, we need a stent in the ostium. Yeah. In the bifurcation portion, is kind of the short region. Maybe we can uh, just do, do the balloon uh, and wait for the follow-up. You can borrow it again. Uh, how about, I don't know. How about <laughs> the distal dilatation with the drug eluting balloon? Maybe that's another yeah. option. Yeah, I, 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 think I'd I think that's a good point. I'd probably use kissing balloons to open it and then put a, a stent, a drug eluting stent, into what I think is the continuation of the right and, and not stent the PVA. That's probably what I would do. Yeah, I, I think a, another part. point maybe we can discuss, you know, if we want to put a full metal, nearly full metal jacket <laughs> like this, is it uh, better if we consider about the BVS or some kind yeah, of... Yeah, I, I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. I mean, this is, this is the hope for DVS for a situation like this because this is... We already are going to be in a full metal jacket. Is that available here? Probably. Is that available here? Okay. I think it depends on the operator right now. <laughs> okay. So we punted a little bit, but probably stent the proximal thing, uh, kissing balloon distally, and then put a stent in the continuation of the uh, right. Oh. Yeah, it, more views, it looks like a better and better idea. Yeah, I think the continuation of the right is a larger branch distally. Mm. So double wire down there. You're not waiting for our decision, are you? You know what to do, right? You probably uh. already have done it, right? <laughs> Your recommendation is to put the stand this time? So two wires distally, mm -hmm. uh, balloon, a kissing balloon, and then put a proximal stent in. Yeah, so that, so. that looks like the clean. However, I I wanted to make the, I wanted to consume uh, think about the patient okay. stent. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Why uh, Dr. Lee, huh? yeah, Dr. Wang, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's enough uh, procedure. Mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, mm -hmm. perform the balloon dilatation, you can make a uh, uh, dissection. You, you, uh, so you put a, another stand. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's, it's enough. So Very good I, procedure. I sincerely want to <laughs> aggressive <laughs> medical treatment and wait and see the response of the patient because of the I also agree to Dr. Hansik Park. Oh. Uh, I want to avoid complicating for this uh, uh, this bifurcation region. So I want to watch yeah. and, and defer yeah. for this region. So I really want to just leave alone. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the, this stand is a little bit incomplete. However, uh, considering the patient uh, uh, outcome, uh, First metal jacket. I don't want to touch more. You agree? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to agree, but <laughs> so I want to finish my procedure. <laughs> Majority is uh, agree. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. I report next year the patient outcome. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Great. Super. So, uh, Dr. Chai is ready for us. I? <laughs> okay. So, I I'll show you what we ready. have done up to now. <laughs> yeah. So I think I showed you uh, wire crossed towards LED. 
And uh, this is a dilatation with a 2O and 2O5 balloon. After 2O balloon, uh, no, no, not, it, this is not balloon dilatation. This is stent implantation, sorry. Yeah, 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 sorry. Ah, so this is a pretty dilatation after two over room. And after two over room, I did IVAS, and uh, fortunately, IVA passed, and uh, I didn't find any circumferential calcium, so we don't need rotor ablation. Okay. And the two five balloon expanded uh, well, 14 atmosphere, and uh, and I, th I think uh, if we put stent uh, from uh, LED, mid LED to distal LED, I think we should do the diagonal. So I decided to do uh, two stenting. Mm -hmm. And uh, after pre dilatation with two over balloon, uh, the two five sixteen from a premier for diagonal and the two five balloon at the LED, and I did the balloon crash. Stent was dilated at the 12 atmosphere because 25, I think, is a little bit too big. And afterwards, uh, 25 two baron was inflated. And uh, I implanted the 325 38 Promas Premier here. And uh, Post dilated before the second diagonal with three or non compliant balloon. Fortunately, second diagonal has TV3 flow. So, proximal to the second diagonal, I post dilated the three or balloon at 20 atmosphere. And I, I think this is okay, but uh, if I want to, if I have to do optimal work, I would like to make one try to achieve a kiss at the uh, LED diagonal bifurcation. So now I put crusade again and try to recross the strut with uh, Xion wire. Yeah. So it's just a bifurcation course. Mm -hmm. mm. But uh, the angulation between LED and diagonal is very yeah. strong. So yeah, I, it's an unusual. Mm, yeah. I don't think uh, Baron can easily pass through the strut. And I do not want to destroy the promise. So if wire can pass, what I try first is 135 Corsair. Corsair is the most, uh, uh, I think, the best tool to make a small hole through the stem strut. If Corsair can pass, maybe one five balloon pass. But if Corsair cannot pass, uh, I don't stick to this yeah, diagonal. Right. Mm. You're just going to quit it and leave it. You know. But, oh. there you go. Crusade is good, huh? Yeah. Okay, two five balloon for trapping. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Xion, absolutely. Two five balloon. And then I try 135 Corsair. Mm, I have one question to OTI. Yeah? Can say? Yeah. Uh, current situation, I think uh, diagonal Ostium is. Uh, broad uh, stent opposition is not so good. Of course. Because of, uh, you uh, you crashed. I am, of course. Yes, yes. So, uh, balloon dilatation is, uh, I think, necessary. For but uh, if nothing can pass, uh, nobody can do this. Uh, yeah. But it's just now smoothly you pass through the, uh, this guy's wire. So, uh, I hope. Don't you try? I hope. Don't you try? Okay, mm. six. But, but the first I try Corsair. Okay, okay. Mm. First, I try Corsair because I'm not so. I don't strongly believe in balloon. Okay, okay, six, eight. So first, I take out Corsair, eight, eight atmosphere. No? Okay. First, I take out Crusade. Give me 135 Corsair. So. Uh, in current complex PCI, lots of microcasseters are mandatory. Crusade, Corsair, Tornas, yeah. Mm -hmm. We cannot do this kind of procedure just with wire and the balloon. This is uh, 135 Corsair. And if this doesn't pass, I stop. Mm -hmm. 
even if the diagonal develop uh, stenosis, the patient will not die. Right, yeah, for sure. If this balloon can pass, I think one five new balloon can pass. Okay, deflate. So easy. This is eight French system. Mm. I push closer, putting back this uh, Sion wire. Yeah. Okay. Pass. There you go. Mm. Okay, give me one five, a very short balloon. One five, eight or ten. Okay, okay, six. Mm. One, five, eight, or ten. No, 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 Break? no, 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 one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five, ten. Yeah. Mm. Because it's yeah, it's good. Too. But anyway, I don't want to destroy the structure of Proma stand. Nor do anything to disrupt the LED stand. Either. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the, I'm not sure whether after Corsair this uh, balloon can pass. This is new 1510. Okay, there's the trap. Inflator. Mm. Inflator. Mm. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, deflate. <sighs> no. Mm. No. So I think it's better to stop. Mm. Diamond. Mm. I, of course, I can try the balloon <laughs> if you want. Huh? <laughs> but, uh, I think the result is the same. Yeah. Okay, so I put the stand at the proximal LED and finish this procedure. So I think you can move to Dr. Muramatsu somewhere. No? Yeah, okay. I show you final Great results. Job. Okay. Great job. <sighs> so, three of them. So, uh, there we are. Uh, okay, diagonal. we see you, uh, oh, Dr. Yeah. Muramatsu mm -hmm. and Dr. Ah. Can you hear us? Yeah, we can hear. Yes. Dr. Brahmat, can Great. you hear? Uh, so, what are you up to? I gave up anti-grade approach, even using by the uh, Conquest Pro. And so I switched to the retrograde approach, but the uh, retrograde channels are very tiny and I try to find us uh, in some collateral channel came from the diagonal branch just only one so I try to negotiate the diagonal uh, using by the micro catheter introduce and uh, trying to tip injection to, to qualify the collateral channel characteristics. We tried to integrate the Kaya second, third, and conquest nine gram talk. But uh, difficult to even penetrate into the initiation point. Yes, the entry point mm. is uh, covered by heavy calcium. Sensei. Yes. Uh, I, I just ah, speaking down. Yes. Uh, sometimes uh, from LAD to diagonal branch direction, uh, balloon direction induce uh, dissection of calcium. 
and after such a balloon dilatation, uh, entry point is modified and uh, often, uh, sometimes, uh, enter to the uh, LED. Okay. That is another option. Uh, okay. So called open sesame technique. Uh, okay. Balloon in the uh, diagonal portion. Wow, very tight. Oh. Even in the diagonal branch. Wow. Test. Uh, this diagonal is the only one feeding vessel. So. Quite difficult uh, to insert the micro catheter to the diagonal distal. Uh, fine course cannot pass. Mm, very hard. Okay, gradually. Okay. Oh, heavy calcium. Mm. Okay, so I try to anyhow a steep injection. Yes. Yes. What's uh, from Bangkok? Hello. Uh, yes, I think this case is a very difficult case because uh, we hardly see the stump. We cannot identify the stump, and also we cannot use the device to identify the stump of the LED because of the severe calcification, and that may interfere with the visualization mm -hmm. in the IVAS. I think our uh, only chance, maybe just only this little great approach that we you are doing here. I think. Right. And I, yeah, and I think now we can see the collateral from the diaphragm. Okay, so no, anyhow, I will try. Xiong. Xiong, are you ready? Yeah, Xiong. Can you send it to the above? Uh, it it seems to be very difficult to know the connection. <laughs> <laughs> Not so straight line. Not easy connection. Chance of injury. Do you have uh, any other nice idea? <coughs> Do you try the crusado? No? Crusado? Anti grade? Yeah. Yes. If uh, I failed the retrograde, I tried the anti grade again. Mm. Mm. But the uh, entry point is uh, quite hard to push. If I push uh, the Conquest Pro, mm. uh, so finally the guide wire yeah, jump, jump into the diagonal branch. Any, any guide wire yeah, like this one? So the, I scare about the uh, stiffer wire yeah, because it's uh, quite difficult to control the, the uh, penetrate, the anti -gradery. Mm. Do. Do you, this, this one? You can try either way, left side or right side. Mm. Mm. I possibly injected, but difficult to see. Difficult to inject? No, no. 
I first injured maybe two microcatheter disturbing the distal flow. And right. this microcatheter cannot send the blood flow for the distal. Okay, so uh, it's a micro a, I feel that it's uh, impacted. So I cannot clearly see. Okay? Yeah, focus on the Then we may see again. Okay, I'll just show again. Mm. Uh, so, for injection. <laughs> Not so clear. Depend on the previous mapping, you can try the upper or the lower portion, mm -hmm. the down or the upper branch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the ones we throw the course here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. The even the micro catheter yes. test. test. Yeah. Guiding is in? Yeah. Oh, guiding okay. is off. Okay. Okay. Check for okay. Picture again. Ready? Yeah. Ah, oh, out of sight. Okay. Okay. Capture oh. and save. Much better, huh? Yeah, that's much Stop. better. Stop? Okay. Uh, Stop? Oh, okay. Then. The clear identification is very important. Yeah. That looks like a better brand. I think the more proximal, right? More proximal? <laughs> oh. But the upper branch. Upper branch picture? Yeah. yeah. The starting point is not correct. Uh, this one, right? Uh, this one, okay. correct. Good. <coughs> think so. <laughs> and listen, we have about Fixture. four yes. more minutes okay. of transmission time, so I'm, we're, we want to get you our clapping in, because you're ah, doing a great okay. job. Looks yeah, fine. You're in the LAD. This is a done case. You're going to get it done. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is a finish transmission. Uh, two study. <laughs> four, minutes. four minutes left. When they, divvied up, when, they, when they divvied up the cases this today, you got the worst one. This is a great job. Outstanding. However, oh. the step is also very, very difficult. Very good. Good. Okay. Oh. Why don't you we change the course, find course to course here, to follow? Guiding, guiding. Uh, guiding. Guiding, but look at So this is a Xi'an wire? Xi'an wire, wire yes. Yeah. Just the Xi'an. Oh. Uh, this is a... Confidence, right? We got yeah, uh, so we have to change the software. To yeah. Brave. Huh? I just Dr. Ramatsu, uh, I strongly recommend to follow a micro -cassator. Yes, I tried now. Uh, yeah. Uh, just a minute. Okay, I push the micro -cassette. I will draw back course a little bit because it's disturbing. Oh, okay, okay, don't, don't, okay. don't, 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 don't. Okay. I try to introduce the micro -cassette. Mm. Wow. Can I go? Damn it. Not easy. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. Not easy. Course is better? Is more better. Better? Mm. Uh, because uh, tip is more uh, flexible. Mm. Mm. Can I go further, right? Mm. So the other option is you can start again from the antiquated yeah. mm. yeah. to try the antiquated wire. Okay. Yes, I, agree. Wire. Yeah, yes, I, agree. I will try. With nice miracle mouth. Okay. So antiquated approach again. So 
always nice to know where to go finally, you know? Exactly. Well, if we lose the transmission, I want to thank everybody for, boy, these are great cases. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I check, uh, I should check uh, several different view, but uh, sometimes I, I'm wrong, yeah, like yeah, this one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, the point is uh, occupied by the very heavy calcium. Is it Conquest Pro? Yes, Conquest Pro. So this uh, proximal part is angulated, so uh, mm. um, perforation risk is uh, not so low. Mm. So very careful yeah. while it is This is almost a typical dialysis. Mm. If anterior penetration is difficult, uh, retrograde IBUS guided uh, direct crossing is probably more from, from missing here. Yeah, it is necessary to okay. change. Well, uh, I've been informed that we're going to have to close this session, but I understand you with this will continue to be taped, so we'll be able to see it in a subsequent uh, session. So I'd like to thank everybody. Outstanding job by all the operators. Fantastic with this case. Thanks so much.